Hello everyone, my name is Dion. This video is all about how to preserve battery health on your iPhone. I'll be taking you through my settings as well as charging methods and showing you a useful shortcut to set up. Let's dive in. Now when it comes to this subject, I find it's about striking a balance between saving battery while also keeping the features that you value and enjoy using. With that in mind, here is how I've set up my iPhone 10 to optimize battery health as well as usage over the years. It's important to note that these tips will also apply to older models as well as the newer iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 series. In addition to this, many of these same principles can also be carried over to Android. All right, so I'm gonna break this down into two main sections. First, we'll be taking a look at my iPhone setup and the settings that I use to optimize battery life. And second, I'll be showing you my charging method and a shortcut to help extend and preserve battery health. Taking a look at the setup of my iPhone 10, you can see I have a relatively simple home screen. And the first tip is to be mindful of widgets. Widgets are a great way to get information without launching an app, but do also take power as they run constantly and update every time you look at your phone screen. My advice for this is less is more. As you can see, I just have a simple weather widget. Let's dive into the settings. First of all, turn off notifications that you don't need. For example, I only allow notifications for messaging apps, certain social media apps, and banking, for example. Other apps such as games or utility apps, transport apps, or photo editing apps really don't need to be sending me notifications. Now what this will result in is less screen time, as every time a notification comes in, the screen has to turn on, a sound is played, and the haptic motor vibrates. This will definitely save battery over time, as well as be good for your well-being, as ultimately you'll have less distractions. Adding on to that previous point, if you can, put your phone on silent. This will activate the speaker less, also resulting in less battery used. This brings us to background app refresh. Now, just like with notifications, I encourage you to think about what apps you actually use and want constantly running in the background, as by default, this is on for all applications. You can see I've turned this off for almost half of my applications, as I just don't need these to be running constantly in the background draining my battery. Therefore, I only turn this on for the apps that are most important to me. Having said that, the biggest drain of battery is your screen. Let's take a look at display settings. Auto brightness is on by default, and I definitely suggest you keep this activated. Though if you want to turn it off, you can find the setting in accessibility. But keeping this on will of course lower your brightness in darker situations, again, saving you battery. Additionally, I suggest you activate auto lock after only 30 seconds. Not only is this more secure, but again will result in your phone turning off more quickly when it's not being used. You could also choose to turn off race to wake, but personally, I like to keep this on. Next, under Siri and search, turn off the Siri activation phrase, as having this on means your phone will be constantly listening with the mics on for that activation phrase. Having this off simply means you activate Siri by pressing and holding the side button. This will dramatically save battery and will still retain the Siri functionality. Under the battery health setting, I suggest you turn on optimized battery charging. What this will mean is over time, your iPhone will get a sense for what kind of charging habits you use. In other words, say what time you plug in your phone at night and when you unplug it in the morning. What this will do is over the night, it will charge your phone up to 80%, waiting to charge the remaining 20% closer to when you typically unplug your phone. This in the long run will help protect your battery health. And this brings us to privacy, more specifically location services. Now, just like with notifications or background app refresh, I encourage you to think about what apps you want to know where you are, and more importantly, what apps you want to know where you are at all times, regardless of whether you're using that application or not. Not only is this great for saving battery, but of course also for your privacy. Before we move on to charging methods, I wanna give you a few quick tips. First of all, use Wi-Fi when you can, as this will take less battery than 4G and especially 5G. Also, turn off Bluetooth when you're not using it. And finally, if you wanna charge your phone faster, turn on airplane mode. And this brings us to charging methods. My first tip here is to use a lower watt charger. It may be tempting to charge quickly with a 15 or 25 watt charger, but research has shown that this will actually cause more wear on the battery over time. When you're charging your phone at night, use a lower watt brick such as this 5 watt brick that actually came with my iPhone 10 and is the same one that Apple included with their iPhones for many years. Alongside this brick, I use this braided cable here from Amazon, and this is an Amazon Basics MFI certified lightning cable. I've done a separate video on this, but this cable is really, really durable and has lasted me several years already, much longer than Apple standard cable. Now that's not to say you should never use fast charging. 
As mentioned before, this video is all about doing what is reasonable. There are times where I use this semi-fast 12 watt charger from Anchor. Now this is not as fast as some of the industry leading, but will also mean that it will cause less wear on the battery while still being able to quickly give you that extra say 20 or 30% of battery. But again, I do generally use this sparingly. Based on some research, there seems to be a general consensus that for optimal battery health, it is best to keep your battery life somewhere between 20 to 80%. During the night, I tend to charge all the way up to 100%, but not during the day when I quickly top up. I stop my phone from charging above 80% through a handy shortcut. Let me show you how to set this up. First, go into the Shortcuts app, click on Automation, click on Personal, scroll down to Battery Level, and then change the percentage to any percentage you want. I suggest changing this to around 80%. And then you can add an action, show notification, change message, so to say whatever you like, and then play sound on. Click on next, turn off ask before running, this way it will automatically show. Now I'll receive a notification whenever my phone battery reaches 80%, at which point I will typically unplug it. Now this notification will not bother me when charging my phone at night because I use do not disturb at night. So only hear the notification when charging during the day. So that gives you a look at how I set up and use and charge my phone to preserve battery health. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any tips that I didn't show here. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.